Have you ever experienced the sensation of gliding smoothly on a train that feels almost like it is floating? Welcome aboard the Vande Bharat train, an engineering marvel that is redefining railway travel in India. Today, we are going to take you behind the scenes to explore one of its key components, the traction induction motor. And trust me, you don't want to miss this. Before we deep dive into the traction induction motor of Vande Bharat, let us understand more about the architecture of the Vande Bharat. The current version of Vande Bharat is a 16 car formation with distributed traction system. The concept of distributed traction system is not something new with Indian railways as the memus worked on the same principle. But for long distance train, the distributed traction system was introduced with the Vande Bharat train. The 16 car formation has four basic units which is a train by itself, since it has pantograph, traction transformer, propulsion system, traction system, HVAC, etc. If we dig deeper, a basic unit has four coaches, first being driving car, then the motor car, then the trailer car, and the last one is a motor car. Now this is the construct of a basic unit from the front and the rear end of the train. But in between, there are two more basic units. The construction of that basic unit is non-driving trailer car, then the motor car, then the trailer car, and the last one being motor car. We can say every alternate coach in a Vande Bharat is a motor car, which tells us that the Vande Bharat has 50% motorization. Now, every motor car has two bogies. Every bogey has two axle and every axle has one traction motor, which means in total, a 16 car formation of Vande Bharat has 32 traction motors. Similarly, for a 24 car formation of Vande Bharat sleeper will have 48 traction motors. Please note, traction motor of Vande Bharat chair car and Vande Bharat sleeper are not the same. They are different. If I'm not wrong, Traction motor in Vande Bharat sleeper has slightly lower rating, but that shouldn't be much impact on the speed and power rating of the train since number of traction motors are also higher. Now let us look into the details of the traction motor used in 16 car formation of Vande Bharat train. For reference, the version 1 release of Vande Bharat is considered. The Vande Bharat train has three-phase AC asynchronous traction motor with input electrical power of 265 kilowatt and output mechanical power of 252 kilowatt. That means the motor has an efficiency of 95% and the loss of 13 kilowatt includes core loss, copper loss, friction loss and windage loss. In the full load condition, the supply voltage is 1375 volts and the supply current is 121 amps and the input electrical power of 265 kilowatt we can calculate the power factor of the motor is 0.92 the supply frequency for continuous operation is 112.3 hertz which if we put along with the wheel diameter of 952 mm and gear ratio of 5.158 translates into a locomotive speed of 116 km per hour. For achieving 160 km per hour, the power converter frequency need to be increased till 154.7 Hz with the same wheel size of 952 mm. The wheel size which we are referring here is the size of a new wheel. Then if we consider the size of a worn out wheel which is 877 mm, the power converter frequency has to be 167.5 Hz which coincidentally the maximum supply frequency of the power converter. That means the peak speed will be attained regardless of the wear out level of the wheel. The specification gives the rotor speed as 3338 RPM operating at full load. The induction motor slip is given as 0.89%. Then the starter speed would be 3368 RPM. From here, we can find that the motor is a four pole motor. These are some of the high level information on the traction motor used in Vande Bharat. This also gives a fair understanding that the traction motor is operated under different condition compared to the standard induction motor used in industrial application. 
So next time you are boarding a Vande Bharat, remember the power behind your journey. This is a remarkable technology and is not just about reaching distances, but it is about delivering experiences. We hope this was an informative and entertaining video for all engineers and train lovers. If that's true, then please click on the subscribe button since more than 90% of the viewers of the videos are not yet subscribed. So please subscribe to the channel. And if you have enjoyed the video, then please click on the like button and give your valuable comments. Thanks a lot.